Hello everyone and welcome back to Alpha Protocol where we can actually pop a sneaky little save into an empty slot just in case and uh, yeah let's explore the building so this is the the safe house and every every operation um, is set in a different geographical location but they all feature a safe house with um, about the same amenities the idea behind the safe house is you have, for example... Hey look, Darcy photoshopped her faces into a still frame of a buddy cop movie. That's, um... Yeah. So, for example, we've got some mementos. Then we have access to uh, the weapons locker, which is slightly differently camouflaged in each location. So here we can change what the, the actual armor is. So we've currently got either the casual attire, which only gives a little bit of endurance and but gives quite a good uh, sound dampening. Then we've got the interceptor body armor and this is basically just a just a very run-of-the-mill combat armor. Now the the important bit is of course casual attire will go unnoticed in certain cutscenes where well in a way, let's say. Whereas if you're wearing more armor, you can of course have more armor modifications, you can have better protection, but you will also be more visible. Then we've got the two weapon slots, so I'm going to slot in the pistol and the AR, and then we've got our gadgets. Once again, the, the more space in your armor or clothing, the more gadgetry you can actually take with you. And then we've got the the most important bit of the, the gadgets and the, well, of the amenities rather, and that is the mainframe. So we've got two, we've got email, where, let's see, uh, Mina Tang has sent us a, an email about a slush fund, so we can download, usually the downloadables are either Intel or money in this case, we got um, 10,000. Then we've got the uh, cover email, brilliant. And we can uh, respond in one of three fashions. So we can go, you know, we can try to flirt, we can be very to the point, or we can just be, you know, professional. We're gonna go with that. Then we've got um, a little bit of, I hate the draggy thing. I always forget that you need to do the draggy thing. So we've got a slight um, bit of intel on one of the missions, and uh, then we've got just you know basically this is some of this is backstory, some of this is actually useful information. Depends quite a lot on the situation. Anyway, and again we've got um, a weapons trader. We've got pistols, SMGs, shotguns, assault rifles, armor, gadgets, and intel. So basically the idea is that the there are several makes and several makers of weapons, all of which um, kind of excel at different things. For example, the, the Samael um, line of weaponry are stable and don't have a lot of uh, recoil, but they do below average power, f uh, or they do below dam uh, average damage. So for example, the pistol I've currently got, which is a Hamilton 45, does 20 damage. So only the only the Samael Th Seraphim, which is the most expensive of the Samael line, and also, well, it's the, the biggest and the beautifulest, only that does the same damage, but it excels in different uh, places. However, the what we can do to start this off is we can sell all the stuff having to do with shotguns and SMGs because and also that here well we could sell the explosive grenade as well and now we can buy some stuff so looking at this we've basically got um, Low endurance armor, which is quiet, so we've got sneaky armor, then we've got tech armor, and then we've got basically just sheer just damage resistance. Uh, my personal favorite are the sneaky armors. 
but that is that is basically up to what is your um, way of playing. Now, most of the most of the intel is it's either um, going to be dossiers, in which case buying it is not strictly necessary, but it can help. For example, I think we might now have a. Do we have a complete dossier on anyone? Yes, we do. We've got a complete dossier on Omar Mohammed bin Nasri, who is a weapons trafficker, um, age 33, uh, and nationality Saudi. So we know ab about him, and, and this is um, in relation to what's going to happen in one of the, the missions of this operation. Um, in fact, it is a mission that we can we can go and do right away so we shall exit the safe house so we've got three missions and there's always three big missions you need to complete two of them but you should complete all three just uh, the order in which you do is up to you although it does depend a little bit or I would say that it does depend uh, a little bit on what you're trying to uh, accomplish and a little bit on what kind of um, what kind of intel you have. So we've got um, our handler is Ace Westridge, who um, is well, who likes us, and the bonus perk from the handler liking us is that we get a 10% cooldown bonus on all abilities. Now the intel that we've acquired is that there is a weapon shipment that we can um, mail to where we want to. So that's a way of getting money. Uh, we've drawn away some of Nasri's best troops, and we have a map. I just realized that I didn't do the inventory shuffle, which means I'm not going in, in there with the... This is one of the things that... It's, it's an okay thing, but I always forget to do it, so... Before you go into, into each mission, you have access to... American. American. As we said, nothing about an American. Metal I'm not Gear. To advertise my presence, only to do business. Business, eh? Check with Nazri if you don't believe me. He's waiting for me and my down payment. <laughs> I call ahead. Go on through. Can't believe you bluffed those guards. So this is just one of the ways to deal with that situation. However, we are now currently going into this mission without armor and uh, without suppressors or anything like that. So that's going to be uh, a slight, slight problem, maybe. Awareness, nothing nowhere. Brilliant. Um, ammo, tranquilizer rounds. Always forget that the how the looks like they figured out I was bluffing Nazri's headquarters are in an old palace up the hill that's your target so damn I always forget that you don't have to click and drag it doesn't matter anyway so there we go so we bluffed our way in but we are found out at some point anyway, so um, with that, it's it's very much up to the individual's tastes how they want to go about it. But the the great amount of freedom in this is one of the the big kind of selling points for me personally. Right, we'll pop on standard pistol ammo because the trank rounds will come. Will become useful at some point, but for now, it's just about saving ammunition, getting through. Well, it's not really about saving ammunition as much as it is about saving the particular type of ammunition. So, um, healing cabinets, nothing. Nothing too strange. Uh, you do have some access to healing items on a mission. 
as well like you can carry certain uh, well you can carry first aid syringes and that's about it so between those and the the first aid kits um, sometimes there will be quite tight spots uh, especially during boss battles but I still think that that is a um, look for alternate ways in no need to risk a direct confrontation I think that's I'll a very very good way of doing things right and uh, up we go down we come And of course, one of the the actual strengths of the game is that this part you can actually you can do sneakily entirely, but you are also not penalised if you don't sneak. Damn it! I'm gonna have to go a little bit closer, aren't I? Pistol ammo, brilliant. There we go. Hostile down. Assault rifle ammo. Oh. I accidentally killed him. Well, accidentally on purpose. Anyway, doesn't matter. Reload weapon. Back to the pistol. And down we go. Now the the actual purpose of, of changing weapons is of course different ranges Ah damn it. I still need to get used to the used to the PC controls, which are a little bit limited. Um, it's not quite as smooth as it is on on the console, but it's still it's not a bad it's not a bad PC port to be honest. I've I've dealt with worse. I've dealt with worse in the very near past. For example, fucking deadly premonition. Now that was a fucking trial and a half. But this is luckily quite doable, quite Easy. Right, spacebar, heal a little bit. We shall go here, hop down there, drop. <coughs> and uh, hmm. the the strength of the missions is that they tend to be quite well. They are usually they are very linear and actually usually quite quick to do as well. So each mission will take maybe I'd say 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes at most to complete. Fuck up a lot of stairs. Maybe that might be a little bit, a little bit optimistic, but I think I think it's it's about fair to. Wow, well, that's a little bit weird. Game's running a little bit choppily. Um, I'd say it's about fair to say that the actual game time for the game is um, a very respectable 10 hours. So, certainly quite a lot better than some games. It's not. You there. Make yourself useful. Start unloading the second truck. Start unloading the second truck. Nasri is plenty to display already.
So the actual sneaking is not massively complex. It's Um, it's it's quite a lot less complex than it is in Splinter Cell or in, in Metal Gear Solid. So. Anyway, I'm, I'm just I'm thoroughly showing how, how I can't play the game, aren't I? Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, with the takedowns, you've got two. You've got the well, with the the, the melee takedowns, uh, you've got the slow, non-lethal takedown, and then you've got a nice knife across the throat kind of situation, which is um, damn near in instantaneous. So you can actually. Um, you can keep up momentum when you just run past some. well, rather when you just sneak past someone and, and slit their throat, so in that way, um, way it can be a lot better be hot in if, there. Careful, Mike. if there's enemies patrolling regularly through the area and you can't take the time to, to choke someone out, you can just slit their throat. And of course, with that, ah, oh, fucking hell! There we go. Explosive grenade. Anyway, so go come in here with um, first of all with an unsilenced pistol. Ah, oh, not here. It was somewhere. Oh yeah, here we are. So come in here with an unsilenced pistol and no armor might have been something of a mistake, but it doesn't actually matter that much because um, since this is one of the the first missions, nice it's collection. actually Wonder quite. If any of it works. See if there's something you can use. Non problematic. Right. Hmm. No, nothing really. So, for example, there, as you can see, the the lethal takedown is a lot quicker. And bodies and gunshots do attract enemies. That went weirdly easily. They didn't, for some reason, they didn't trigger the alarm. I don't know why. But uh, you know, with the the environmental things that you can do, for example. This surface-to-air missile battery 
can be hacked. So, yeah. The exit's in the corner, opposite the entrance. Try to get to it without getting killed. Oh dear. There we go. So, ee, that's going to blow. So there are a lot of little decisions that you can also make in the field. Weirdly enough. Oh, it's not blown. Strange. Careful, Mike. Nasri's got... Incendiary bomb. Oh, I mean, nearby. There's no other exits from the palace. I keep hitting C to crouch because I forget that it is the it's the <gasps> control button. So, there is some fuckery with the, the camera angles. Like I, I said, as a game, this isn't the best example of mechanics. It's not even an, a very adequate example of mechanics. However, it is a very good example of good writing. So, we've just done the one of the intel missions, which was, um, we knew that there were... Um, there was a shipment of weapons that we could reroute. We've just gone and switched the labels. So that means when we go out, get out of the mission, we will have some profit from that as well. And that way we can... It, because you have to fund your own equipment. Getting to that point where you can buy something that costs 100,000... Well, I think tens of thousands are the worst. should be quick. Give me a sec. You, who are you? Omar Mohammed bin Nasri. By order of the United States government, I'm placing you under arrest. Arrest? For what? No crime here. Nothing involving United States. You are in possession of illegal shoulder-mounted munitions. We'd rather you not sell them on the black market. The missiles? You are too late. Already gone. Sold. You cause all this trouble for nothing. Sold? To who? I take their cash, not their names. You come a few days ago. Maybe you could have killed them instead of my men, eh? Mike, this is bad news. If he's telling the truth. What you do now, huh? Kill me? That not get your missiles back. Mike, we need to know where those missiles went. If we let him go, he could lead us to the people he sold the missiles to. Or they might come after him. Either way, we win. But if he can't lead us to the buyers, then we've let a killer go, and more people will die. Remember that rocket attack in Money, Europe? guns, yours, if you let me go. I'll take the cash you made on the sales here and the account number to the Saudi holdings you think no one knows about. It'll save me from having to hack the file. Saudi holdings? But... The cash and the account code. I, I get you both. Here, I, I transmit to you. Uh, number check out, see? Good. Now get out of here before the Marines show. Are you sure about this, Mike? Yeah. If we just let him go without a bribe, he would have smelled a trap. Ah. Uh. I want him scared, not paranoid. And a little extra cash might prove useful later on. Fair enough. Search the room. See what you can find. So there we had three options. We could extort money, which is what we did. Uh, we could have also shot Nasri, uh, which would have also removed one of our weapon dealers. Or we could have just arrested him, which again, all have different, all have different um, benefits. But we actually acquired quite a lot of cash from this, almost sixty thousand. So, basic stuff. 
basic stuff. Um, found out information on NAS race trafficking with local Al Samad cell. So Al Samad is the the basic terrorist um, cell in this. Um, crate of stolen weapons rerouted. Brilliant. Uh, effect. Arms traffic in the region is unaffected because we made the the choice of extorting him. Then basic stats from the mission. And um, after each mission, right, we'll buy chain shot, and we will. Hmm. Toughness or martial arts? Let's put it into martial arts. There we go. And uh, exit. Yes. So now, to to end um, this video on, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly set up the weapons and show how the weapon system works. So basically, each weapon has four slots. In this case, we've got... Um, the, the, there's the barrel slot, the optics, magazine, and accessory. Now, I'm actually going to be unequipping this, but I just realized that I can um, buy a better pistol. But this is the, the basic way the weapon modification system works. It's not very complex, but the, the point is that different... Um, usually each kind of added accessory to the weapon has some kind of um, added benefit and a detriment. For example, silencers make the weapon more quiet. However, at the same time, they also reduce the damage you do, unless they're very good suppressors. So at that point, you need to kind of, you know, you weigh pros and cons and kind of make, again, it has this has a very good approach to your kind of choice when it comes to, you know, what kind of a gameplay choice do you want to make? And I think that's a very good thing. However, that is it for this time, and I will catch you in the next video. So for now, goodbye.